Today we're going to be going over a basic kiri age strike. Kiri just means to cut and age just means up. So it's any strike that goes upward in that direction. For this strike, my favorite stance to practice it with is it's sort of like a horse stance. You're going to have the katana up like this. Your left hand is going to be towards the butt here of the katana and you're going to be looking at your opponent. The blade, the tip of the blade, should be pointing towards the opponent as well. From this stance, I like to follow with my eyes the sword going down, and then I'm going to shift my knees forward, almost as if I'm shooting in jiu-jitsu and wrestling, here, and then I'm going to go back to the horse stance. The hip's going to lead, and then the blade is going to go up. Then you could go back into whatever stance you'd like to go into. For the sake of the exercise, when you're here, you can follow the blade into the cut. In reality, when you're drilling it a little faster, you really don't want to be looking at the blade. You kind of want to have your eye on the opponent the whole time. You want to think of drilling it in terms of like Tai Chi movements, the Tai Chi energy. People focus so much on the tension to be able to hold a stance, to hold a posture. But if I'm right here, I'm going to be as relaxed as I can, have the blade go down, and then as relaxed as I can, bring it up. Biggest detail I can give when it comes to any sword strike is to have the hip lead. So for kiriage, the blade is going to follow the hip. So let's say we're right here. We already have our blade in that angle. And by the way, you could do kiriage like this too. The cuts are a lot smaller when it comes to cutting an opponent down for sparring and stuff like that if you're using a bokken or shinai. But for film, you want to make the movements as big as possible. So for right here, the hip has got to lead, the sword follows. It's not the other way around. A lot of people like to do it at the same time. That's a big mistake. Or the sword just kind of goes and then the leg follows. To maximize power, you have to have the hip lead and then the sword pop up. It's with any motion. If I'm going to do a cut from the side, I don't want to go at the same time to do the cut. I don't want to go at the same time. If I want to do the cut, and if I'm here, the hip has to lead and then I cut. If I'm here, the hip has to lead and then I cut because the hip is going to lead for power. If I'm doing something from boxing, like a jab or a cross, really you push off the ground, your hip shoots out, then it goes through your shoulder and then that's where the punch comes. So the hip leads, it's the puppeteer and the hand's just the puppet. If you don't use the hip, you will only have the power of that limb. So if I'm punching, I'll only have the power of my arms, but if I use my hip, I could use all my body weight. So one more time for kiriage, we can start here or here, it doesn't matter. If we're here, it goes down, then we go into the strike, boom. If we're here, we can turn the blade and then go up. 